Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger! Last episode we escaped from the council, I guess? No, that's the episode before that. Really? Yes. Last episode we explore, uh, explored this futuristic place. We've gone through lab 16 and fought oh, yeah. some kind of a security robots. And now we're going to continue going deeper into this dome. And we have some robots over here. Mm, deep. Some Proto 2s. <laughs> Ram. They look like lobsters. Yeah, they do. But they do also. Somebody's getting really tired. <laughs> Even though we didn't do a shit today. <laughs> Alright. We have some more of these jelly guys. The shadows. The shadows. Ooh. Of course, they're only weak elemental attacks, like we saw last episode. So we only get to get we only get to get them with things like flamethrow and slash. Yep. There we go. More XP, more gold. And let's see what's done this but finally. There seems to be one of these guys, and a, and a freaking bunch of rats. Wow, it's called a bugger. Bugger. <laughs> Funny prank, but it's called bugger. <laughs> I would more like to call it sapper. Sulfa is almost dead, by the way. I don't think uh, you're gonna be able to heal. <laughs> she's almost she's almost laying on the ground. You can use her aura ability. Or aura world. And there we go. And that's aura world for you guys. <laughs> See, now I have one seal for a little bit. Yep. Alright, stupid rats. Stupid rats! Get out! Get off my lawn! <laughs> there we go. Rats are dead. Stop freaking yawning, man. How can you be so tired? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm only just waking up! <laughs> Alright. No, that's wrong. <laughs> that's a dead end. Right, let's go down this way and find another one of these lobst lobster robots. Proto 2s. Proto 2 exterminate humans. <laughs> right. Spamming the attack, of course. And then. We're starting to get a little bit overpowered, maybe. Nah. <laughs> There's no such a thing as overpowered. Yeah. Oh. Alright. This is a short I think it is. Proto 2 ram human in face. Human skull crushed. Mission complete. <laughs> Self destruct initiate. <laughs> then the whole dome explodes. Boom! Alright, more protoists. <laughs> she went flying! Right, there we go. And dead! We don't really seem to get a lot of tech points from these guys. Oh. And that's the door. Yep. There we go. So now I can go over to the special door, but it's kind of pointless to us. There's no point for us to, uh, to go there. Let's follow this little bit of a crate, I think. And let's go to the door. Yeah. So this is the info center. Good, the computer is still operational. If we run a search on the time warps, we might find our gate. Here, got it. 
East of Eris Dome. Right? Through another lab. All the way over here. That would be Proto Dome, I believe. Leave it to Kena. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. Say, so what does this button do? <laughs> Typical press the button. <laughs> 1999 AD, visual record of the day of Lavos. We get to find out how this all, how this world happens. I <laughs> got destroyed, yes. So that's Lavos. Of Lavos. How do you say it? Lavos. 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 Yeah, looks like everything got destroyed by that one beast that came out of the ground. Yeah. Okay. Pretty annoying sound. But well, what is it? Lavos? Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No! No way! I refuse to believe it! This... is madness. <laughs> this can't be the way the world ends. Hmm... Frodo. There's only one thing we can do. We must change history, just like Frodo did when he saved me. Okay, Kina? Okay, Frodo? Well, you know... I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Frodo, let's go! Yeah, sure, why not? Frodo, Kia, together we can do this! Let's take a second and do some more rich research on Lavos and the activities back in our time period. Next up, Proto Dome. Right, let's get out of here. We can just avoid the enemies because we've already fought them, so. It's pointless fighting them again. It's just a waste of time. <laughs> oh, well, you seem to have run into the guy. No, they're, they die in two hits. Yep. And you know, it's pretty dangerous to change the future from the past. <coughs> That's what uh, this whole game is about though, time travel. Yep. Nah, you're using middle age weapons on futuristic robots. <laughs> because why not? Well, if, if, if you didn't see that this was the future, well, then there's something quite wrong. <laughs> This is obviously the future, of course, we already knew this, but I wanted to keep it a little bit silent until the game characters themselves said it. So yeah. Oh, those bugs. I think you can run past them if you're very careful. Come on. Get out of here! Wow, Ooh, nice one. Right, wait for the rats, and let's run. Wait for the rats, and let's run. Go. We did it! We managed to escape! Right. You're back! No, we're dead. <laughs> we're just ghosts. We're ghosts! We are robots! We have now become one with the robots! We are cyborgs! <laughs> well, what did you Androids. discover? Androids. Cyborgs. The same. No. Cyborgs? You know the word cyborg, right? Mm. Half human, half robot? Yeah, sure. This is our future? <laughs> oh my, wow. That was a pretty big voice crack. Who cares? Where's the food? This is all we could get. Seeds? You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. You have to stay alive, and so do we. Huh? You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. Healthy? Got a nice ring to it. 
Well, try growing the seeds. What are those? It just might be our future. Heading for Protodome? Go by the way of Laboratory 32 and take this with ya. It's a bikey. The bikey. Nice. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. Yeah, we'll try. Okay. You just get out of my way. <laughs> get out of here. Right. Now let's uh, go and save, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Might be a good idea. Now you get to choose what we're going to do. We are either going to go to the sewer, through the sewers or through lab 30, 30 something more. <laughs> and do we need to do the sewers? No, it's optional, but you can get a lot of good items there. And you get to fight the miniballs. And I really like the place, so... I'll leave it to you then. Nice. Okay. Let's go to lab 32 and use a jet bike. Do you like using a jet bike? Yeah. There we go, perfect. Alright. This has been a while, so... Doesn't yeah. matter. Even if we lose, you can still go and walk through uh, lab 32. You can try again though. Yeah, but still. We can do that because there are a lot of items over there. There are a lot of mutants too, but a lot of items too, so... Yay. Mm. Alright, lab 32. And there's already an item over here. What? You're left. Screw this place. <laughs> and a mid tonic. Right. And there's a jet bike. And an alarm is going off. Four of those guys. Four lobster robots. Hello? Okay. Hold it right there! This guy is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing. Hey, it's... The man! Like... <laughs> like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man! You low lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up, part of an old highway led through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? Yeah, sure. Right. Let's go! If you win this race, you get to go through lap 32 without actually needing to walk through the whole map. If you fail it, well, then you can just retry. You know what? Just continue doing the race until you win. I'll get through lap 32. I'll walk through lap 32 anyway when I need to get go back over to the sewers. Can you see? So, a uh, good way of doing this is trying to get in front of your uh, your your opponent and using him as a little bit of a bumper. You have some boost that you can use by pressing B. And fail. Dang it! <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you need to use the boost. You need to use the boost in the end. I know, but uh, yeah. I was just too early. And you have three boosts, by the way. Yeah, I know. You're worthless! Give it up! Go home! Ha! What losers! You can walk! Wait, wait... Jumps! <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's win this time. I'll try. Now, while he's going to the race, I want to mention something. Look at the amazing background of this city. I think it's a really amazing look of the city. Well, an apocalyptic... Uh, apocalyptic Apocalyptic <laughs> environment. I mostly really hate the, uh, the the idea of an apocalyptic world, but I do really like the way that the background looks in this game, uh, in this part in any case. So, use the boost. There we go. That's how you do it. Yep, that's how you win. Now we get this awesome camera. <laughs> I find this to be very impressive for, an in, uh, for the Super Nintendo. This little, this little race over here. Yeah. Right. And there we go. We did it! 
And now he's sad. You beat me? I don't get it. You can chance me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Okay, let's get out of here. Yep. I was using the control stick again. I know. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, how is the time going? Um, I don't know. Let's check it out. It's 50 minutes. Alright, then we get to do. Then we get to go to the dome, too. Not as hungry as the people in this world. <laughs> Maybe I am. No. Not not even close. Alright, we have some more buggers. These guys will hit each other if they well if they see each other move. Oh wow! <laughs> Get shocked, bitch! <laughs> that looks so painful. Electricity. Electricity can hurt. <laughs> Quite a lot. Well, I know it out of experience. A lot of experience. Yeah, I do. I me too? I me too. I me too. I me. That sounds like something Japanese. Alright, some more yeah, XP. It does. Some more gold. Konnichiwa! <laughs> That's a broken! <laughs> oh, amazing. I love German. German is my favorite language. Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite language. Maybe I better use the Yep, that would have been a really good idea. Because now you get shocked by every one of them. Fire world. And they're as good as dead. I hope. Yeah, they're dead. Or maybe not. One of them. You know what? I think that might have been a better idea if we just used the regular psycho. I'm not sure if they're resistant to fire. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, they're yeah. more resistant to fire, so. Or you could have used slash and used a nighting attack. You never know what that might do. Mm. Alright, there we go. Now there's another one of these anatrons. Yes. yes! Let's use. Let's use the Enercon to heal ourselves. Uh, but we're still hungry, <laughs> as per usual. Yeah. Right, and there seems to be this guy. Well, hello there. And who are you? Well, what's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible! It's an android. No! <laughs> I, I think I can fix it. What? It might attack us! I'll make sure it won't. Machi machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. Kina, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? It's a bit weird that you're like that into robots. <laughs> but, well, uh, tch, I'm not gonna judge. The door won't budge. Right, that does it. I'm going to give it some juice. <laughs> Spark. <laughs> okay, dot 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 dot. Good morning, Australia! <laughs> More. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I'm Zelfa. And this is Frodo. And Ki Akina here fixed you. Fixed you. Understood. Madam Kina fixed me. Just Kina will do. Impossible. That would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Zelfa? Huh, <laughs> hate him. <laughs> Who I understand, a... Kina. Who gets to name this one, actually? I don't remember. Alright, now what's your name? So, um... I named... Ne uh, hey? Ah, my serial number. It 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 is uh, R sixty six Y. R sixty six Y. Cool. No, that won't do at all. Come on, Frodo. Let's give him a better give him a better name. So, I got Frodo. Then I got Kira. Kira. And you got Salfa. So I'm the one. No, no, you were Sword. 
Now, I was the one with thought of sword because you can think of a name, so you get to choose what Robo is called right now. <coughs> so, what's it going to be? Let me think for a second. Do you know any awesome robot with a cool, with a cool name? Press the B button to delete your thing you Wait. <laughs> Can't remember the name you were just going to write down? <laughs> God. No, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Dang it. <laughs> there we go. GT980. <laughs> How are we supposed to say that name? <laughs> GT980. Sure. It fits a robot, so let's do it. Start. Okay, which one starts again? This button. Yes, that button. Okay. Okay. GT980! GT980, that sounds perfect! <laughs> Your new name is GT980, okay? <laughs> I am GT980, data storage complete. Hey GT980, why aren't you. Why aren't there any people here? What? What happened here? There were many humans and other of my kind in this dome. Ooh. I think something awful happened here. Hmm. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Eris Dome we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is locked, so we're out of luck. <laughs> doom, ba doom, ba doom. Nope, it's locked, bitch. The power is off. If you go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate the dome's generator. You do that for us? You repaired me. Well, now it's uh, now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power is on. Then Zelfa or I will stay. Who will stay behind? Well, well you get to choose. Yeah, because next episode is going to be my episode, so... Let's see, who am I going to use? Um, let's go and leave Kina behind. No, Zelfa, Zelfa. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, please be careful, Frodo. Alright, let's go. So, let's get out of this place. With our new, our brand spanking new party member, literally. <laughs> Alright, now let's go and save our game because it's the end of the episode. Yep. Alright, there we go. Factory ruins. And so, next episode we will go over to the sewers. Or I will go over to the sewers in any case. Yep. With our new party member, so. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, well, then hit the, 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 dislike the, 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 the dislike button. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Good Goodbye! Bye.